Hello, hello, it's Tamplet here. Here's an item on geometry. An 8 by 12 rectangle is rotated about a point. Find the area of the shaded region. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now here we have a shaded region and well that's a quadrilateral but we can kind of view this shaded region a little bit uh, differently because we can actually as you can see here we can draw that red segment and it actually splits that quadrilateral let's just call it a b c d into two like right triangles and we're motivated by right triangles because we have a lot of nice theorems the pythagorean theorem and it's easier to get the area of a right triangle than any other triangle so let's try to get for um the information that we need. Now, how did I get these values? Now the 12, well, since I'm just rotating the rectangle here, so the dimensions of the rectangle, it remains the same. So here I would get AB equals 12, because that's the original, uh, one of the dimensions of the rectangle. Now I know that BC will be one, because it's given to us that this part is seven, so simply eight minus seven, this part will be just be equal to one. And then the eight here is just one of the dimensions of the rectangle. And here we have a, a missing length of n. Now I would want this n because, for example, I have split this quadrilateral ABCD into two regions. Well, this will be region 1 and this would be region 2. Now for region 2, I already have the two legs of the right triangle, so I can get the area of that. But for region 1, or this right, the first triangle over here, uh, I'm missing the other leg. And we can do it via just an application of the Pythagorean theorem because we know that 12 squared plus 1 squared, that's going to equal AC squared over here by the, via the Pythagorean theorem. And also AD squared, so this 8 squared plus this N squared, that's also going to equal to AC squared. Well, since both of them equal to AC squared, I should have the equation 12 squared plus 1 squared equals 8 squared plus N squared. And we can easily solve for N here, so you get that 12 is 144 well, plus 1. It's going to be 145, and then I'm just going to subtract 8 squared, which is 64, and you're going to get that n squared equals 81. And having this is nice because we can easily solve for n, take the square root of both sides. n equals technically plus minus 9, but then again, we only want the positive root here since we're talking about side lengths. So all right, we have now n equals 9. So let's try to focus on um, a, b, c, d. We can actually split it into two areas. So let's just call uh, the first part. Let's get the first one. It's just going to be one half times base times height. Now, since it's a right triangle, so just one half times the first leg times the second leg. One half times one times 12. That's going to be equal to the two and the 12 cancels nicely. So the answer here is just six. The second one, the legs are eight and nine. So one half times eight and nine, two and eight cancels nightly, uh, nicely. So four times nine, that gives you an area of 36. Now since this part has an area of 6, this part has an area of 36, we want the combined shape. So the area of the shaded region would simply be 6 plus 36, which is equal to 42. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!